Oh, I thought we'd be getting this for the first time. Yeah. We've had to deal with this a few times back in Dual Destinies. And yeah, um, I was about to say something, but don't want to say that because I don't want to spoil that game. Wow, what's going on here? Yeah, oh, angry! This is different. Normally we only had an overload of one emotion in the previous game. This is actually kind of new. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually true. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. This is actually pretty much new. So what is the root cause here? The anger here is new. But... Okay, we... There's the table. Okay, we already know about the TV here. Gone to sad here. The cards. The jam bun! <laughs> okay, it's at this point that we actually have multiple possible things to point out, so I have a feeling this might be it, but. What if the cards are causing this? Yeah, this is the only one where we had the option to point out the cards. Yeah. Obviously, because his big burst of surprise only happened after he saw the cards. That seems to have affected him somehow. Who's Owen Forth? Yeah! And that's done! Unless it means something, unless it was short for owner. For now! And <laughs> the mysterious Owen Forth. Yeah, so there was anger, there was surprise, and there was sadness. Ah. 
Unless... What are they suggesting here? Is a robot! Has multiple personalities! <laughs> Yeah, he acts several different ones. that switching of personalities during your acting is actually not an act? You're just using the act to hide it? Apparently, although it is like quite rare, I've heard that in re in reality, multiple personality disorder tends to be like not just two, as it's often done in fiction, but like actually lots. So, yeah. Okay then. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Hatches. Then we got this one. Kisigawa. Really? Okay, but which one of them is o oh? Oh. Maybe there is a fourth one. Maybe Owen is the fourth. Huh. Yeah. This is very odd. Let's see. Yeah, I wonder if Owen Fourth is what that means. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> okay. Yeah, he wouldn't exactly be acting. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Then rearrange the cards himself, yeah.
Rearrange the like skin. No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I don't think he did it, but I think he did try and cover up something. Objection. Let's check something. Oh, okay. I thought we'd actually get three different profiles, but oh well. Wow, Blackpool actually got sliced for once! <sighs> yeah, this is the thing. But, we don't know if he was still alive. <laughs> Okay, then. Another testimony, then. Okay. This may be the last testimony of this trial. Until we go to another chapter, I mean. <laughs> no, you give up! No, you give up! And making me give up! Oh no. So what does it do to her? <laughs> Normally I would call that blatantly illegal, but uh, again, there have been whips used in the courtroom before. Oh, nice one. <laughs> because that's the priority here. <laughs> okay, cross-examination time then. I get the feeling the first trial day will be over pretty soon, so I... We'll see where this testimony goes. I still think his hair looks like Weasley Stickler that way. Or one of your other personalities. Yeah. I suppose so.
that you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna switch to that personality now. Alright, there's nothing else much we can do about this. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what did you perform? It might. We have someone who claims that we've got a program. Yeah, he was supposed to do the Sorba Glutton routine. Oh! Yeah, I had a feeling something like this. Yeah. That's not right. That's not what the other guy said. Ha <laughs> <laughs> He's actually doing it. That was the intro, yeah. So... So, yeah, he skipped out on paying one coin, yeah. <laughs> so, in other words, he does a grog haggling. <laughs> so, yeah, we now know what the intro was about. <laughs> objection! We finally hear his objection. Yeah, that went on for quite a while. Yeah, no, that is... definitely important. Because he wasn't supposed to be doing that, was he? Yeah, maybe he bombed it because he wasn't used to doing that. That was his master's routine. 
<laughs> yeah, real smooth there, Athena. <laughs> well, explaining the pun in his name already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. Okay, yeah, here's the issue here. If we look at the program... He was supposed to do something else, and then the master was supposed to do Time Solar, so... Objection! You were doing the wrong routine. And that might explain why you bombed it so badly. Objection! Yep. <laughs> that... You knew he wouldn't be able to do it somehow? Really? Oh, the TV! This could be used to fake the, um, when he was still alive. <laughs> well, he's, it's all birds with this guy. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> That's about was the time of the victim's death. Yeah, no, he just testified that he heard someone performing Time Solver, and that is not a good identifying feature. Anyone could have done that. No, by... <laughs> yeah. That would be the TV. Maybe that's why he put it so close to the door, so it could easily be heard from outside. Yeah, I had a feeling. 
Yep, everyone was deceived. Objection. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, not not on a very very important thing. Of course. He did it intentionally badly. Yeah, it was 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. But other people could have too. What? Okay, right. I had a feeling he did. It's a bit too early for him to actually be the culprit, though. He's a possible suspect, but I'm not sure he actually did it. Oh no. Yeah, this changes this changes nothing it seems. Yeah, I wonder I was wondering about that too. Why were they there? Why was all that present at the scene? I have a feeling we're not gonna like why. A lesson, okay. Yeah, it's the defendant himself. <laughs> oh no.
Ah, oh, so he ordered something. because he was dead! Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Silence. <laughs> ah. Like Owen Fourth? It's the whole Owen Fourth thing. Yeah. If the crime scene was tampered with, just to disguise that, obviously this is important somehow. Makes sense. <laughs> and you're going to claim this is all irrelevant. <laughs> and he's doing his manipulation thing again, isn't he? gonna hide this.
Okay, another testimony then. This is interesting. Can't see any very obvious inconsistencies at this point, but there are essentially three people we're cross-examining here. Hold it! Okay. That's useful. Hold it! my track here. Kind of strange. Yeah, something. the bottle? Take that! The sake, yeah! <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I kind of with her there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's some spill there. <laughs> It's possible. Huh. Ah, unless someone spiked that bomb. They're weak enough. Yeah, of course he had. And he didn't drink any of it, did he? But I think I know what he did have. Let's look carefully at this. Is it possible that some spilled on the bun? I don't know, or or was intentionally spiked. And the the camel wrapping almost feels like it's a Yeah, feels like it's the same brand. Okay, I haven't pressed this one yet. It could mean like fourth owner or something? <laughs> yeah, there are admittedly quite a few... Quite a few meanings. Let's see if we can get anything off of pressing this. Yeah. Yeah, well the thing is, usually when you cook with alcohol it tends to... The actual alcohol in it tends to boil up. Yeah, here's the thing. One of these cases where the witness is, where the witness isn't exactly lying, they just they just don't know the whole truth because there's no way for them to have known it. I think there is. Well, 
let's see if... Objection. Well, it's not that photo. Okay, so let's see what we have in evidence here. Wait a minute, so it's someone making noodles, someone eating them. I don't think that's important. Two drink cans in the fridge. Is it the note then? Objection. Yeah, the fact that there was the same wrapping. Yeah, but it's also the same. Yes, I was noticing this before, actually. The bottle. Take that. Camel in Japanese is Rakuda, which uh, sounds a little bit like Rakugo. I wonder what, if that's the joke here. And if that happened, they wouldn't have known that. Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Oh, okay. Yes, let's not uh, get Athena drunk at this point. <laughs> First time we see Taka, actually. Are you going to get a too big continued here or not? Actually, yes, we are. Okay, then. Didn't expect that. So anyway, the thing about this case is I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. It's actually surprisingly decent overall. Like, the, the bad jokes aren't as obnoxious as in... I mean, I don't actually hate Turnabout Big Top as much as a lot of fans do, but this is definitely better. And also, what's really making the case for me so far is Black Quill and Sad Monk's back-and-forth banter. Just, it's something actually quite unique that we haven't really seen in the series before. 
Admittedly, the one issue that I'm having at the moment is Athena is coming off a little weak at this point because she's kind of having everyone else do things for her, and uh, that doesn't really say all that much for her competence, so I'm hoping that she gets a little better as the case progresses. But with that, I'll see you next time for the next part.